Hi guys, welcome back to Big Drool the World. Um, we have our first episode breaking down our college football semifinalists today, where we're going to take a look at um, three lessons we can learn offensively. It's not necessarily um, set up towards the bigs, for example, but we're going to take our channel and we're going to break down our college football semifinalists as well as our NFL semifinalists and th see three takeaways or lessons you can learn from each of them. So our first episode today talks about one of my favorite teams to watch, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Yes, I am one of those guys. Um, first takeaway, um, Notre Dame top 50 in the country um, with 211.11 yards per game. Um, see three different backs, including quarterback Eden Book, having over 400 plus yards on the ground, built off one of the most experienced offensive lines that they had coming back in years. Um, a third year quarterback. But the big thing, big lessons I take about this with Notre Dame's run game was mix it up. You know, it was more of a powerhouse game this year, but you know they can get into different fronts, whether it be spread or out of in, spread out of under center what have you, different types of fronts to mix it up, as well as mixing it up with who you're giving the ball to. But run game's going to set the tone. Uh, and I'm an air raid guy. But, you know, when we had our run game working, it set the tone for us to become a much more efficient passing team. And I think that's going to be true anybody. If you can pop a draw in the air raid um, for 10, 15 yards, it's going to set you up, whereas if draws are only going to get two or three, defenses aren't going to scheme for it. Um, you know, Notre Dame last year, Notre Dame historically has had more balanced offenses under Chip, under Brian Kelly. Um, I think I accidentally said Chip earlier. It's my bad there. Um, but under Coach Kelly, they've had more historically balanced offenses. Um Number two, be efficient on third down. Okay, going back to what I said, you know, run, sets up a pass, all that type of stuff. Notre Dame's been balanced. Number two, be efficient on third down. Get into manageable situations. So Notre Dame put themselves eight in, eighth in the country with 49.1% conversion rate on third down. Um, two big things, get into manageable situations. Get, do not put yourself, this is where I think going back into the run game sets up the pass game. If your run game is being reliable and getting 211 yards per game, okay, so he had an offense, we had an offense uh, at Notre Dame that had over 200 yards per game rushing and passing each of the each of the games last year, okay? Very successful if you're doing that. Get into manageable situations. Get into third and shorts. Play the game to get into third and short situations, coaches. Okay, if I'm set up in second and long, I want to be in third and short. I don't necessarily, yes, it's a risk it or biscuit it type of attitude to go for the first on second and long, but put yourself in a position where I can go for it. I think about that as a play caller when I know it's four down territory a lot of times. Um, you know, you take a third down to put yourself in a manageable fourth down situation, but do we think about it as play callers at second down? Do we take a manage? Do we take a second down to set up a manageable third down after necessarily we've had a bad? We're in second and long here. Okay, find your reliable players or reliable plays. For Notre Dame, it was the emergence of freshman Michael Mayer at tie in. Okay, find your reliable guys. Steam for them. Find your go-to guys. When I was scheming my air raid, it was around my quarterback. Okay, if I was going to have third and medium, third, third and medium type stuff, I was going to put the ball in his hands whether we were running or passing. If I was going to have third and short, I had a 230-pound running back who was basically a fullback. I was going to let took the rock. You know, steam your stuff. And number three, protect the lot, rock. 11 turnovers in 12 games, protecting the ball can set up, a, set up this efficiency. I think when you look at Notre Dame, not necessarily flashing the pass game, not necessarily flashing the run game, but just efficient in the pass game and the run game, and the big part of that efficiency is 11 turnovers in 12 games. Ball security, ball security, ball security. So what can you take back to your team? Three things, three lessons. Number one, make your run game versatile and complementary to your pass game, okay? Set up the play action. Set up stuff that works with your pass game. So you're not if you're not a passing team that's good at down the field passing, you you don't need to be in third and long. You don't need to be in second and longs. 
You need to set up run game and passing game that's complementary to each other. Uh, number two, focus on what you have success on and use it for third down. Look at you, go back, steam, look at what gets you four or five yards a clip. Okay? Self scout, look at what gets you in those situations and be in those manageable situations. Plan, plan ahead on second down to get into a manageable third down situation. And number three, work on ball security, ball security, ball security. Okay? Well, as a defensive guy, I'm big on turnovers, 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 turnovers change a lot of things guys on offense we're looking, working to prevent them on defense we're working to create them okay the biggest lesson you need to remember guys if you want to put points on the on the board and want to win football games you got to dominate in the trenches and to do that you got to know that bigs rule the world we'll see you next time when we break down the clemson tigers